Hi everyone, it's Rachel. So I just wanted to do a little update video to kind of um, explain some of the projects that I have coming up in the next few weeks, months-ish here. Um, fall is just finally starting to arrive here at uh, Grand Valley. It's a lovely, lovely, gloomy, rainy day and I'm actually like really happy about it. I'm chilling out here doing chores catching up on things, drinking coffee, enjoying the weather. Um, but anyway, some of you might have seen my blog post by now um, that I just uploaded as well. And um, in it, I kind of explain some of the things that I'm planning to be up to. But if not, I'm going to explain them here as well. So the first thing that's coming up is I'm going to be doing what I've called the Autumn Wild Hunt Challenge. It's a working title. We might change it to something else. But basically, from the full moon in September, um, September 16th, until the full moon in October, October 16th, I'm going to be focusing a lot in my videos, social media in general, um, blog posts, etc., on the wild hunt and I'm going to be doing you know poetry and sharing some of my favorite stories and talking about how they um, come into different parts of my practice so that's kind of one of the things that I've got planned and um, I don't have like a full schedule of like topics I'm going to be talking about it's going to be much of a you know as I feel it go with the flow kind of a thing um, Every Friday in the afternoons, I'm going to try and take a walk out in the woods behind campus and focus on some different topics of, you know, like connecting with different aspects of the hunt and different aspects of the fall season. And I'm going to maybe do some videos after those walks. If not, I will definitely have blog posts about them and write a lot of my reflections as far as what I've been working on in that general sense. Fall is really one of those big creative, you know, times for me and the wild hunt energy that's associated with it, especially in where I'm at in Michigan, for me personally, um, plays into that a lot as well. So I'm going to be doing that. Um, and then of course the, um, new moon in October is just before Samhain. So I'm thinking that I'm going to spend that period of time between the October full moon when this challenge ends and the new moon, that whole waning period to really um, get into the groove for Samhain and for the new moon and that sort of dark shadow work, deep spiritual stuff that's associated with that Sabbath. And that one's more of a work in progress, and I'll explain that once I've figured out precisely what I'm doing for it. But that's an idea I have rattling around in my head. Um, in October, I'm thinking about picking up Inktober, um, where you do a daily, like, ink drawing every day. Um, that might be, you know, somewhat witchy, somewhat not. It depends on how I'm feeling that particular time I'm drawing. But that's something that might be happening over on, like, my Instagram feed. Um, I'm also planning on picking up the YouTube Pagan Challenge, and I thought about just, like, you know, starting where everyone else is at, but that feels a little bit, like, abruptly jumping to, like, things later in the challenge. So I'm going to start it from week two, because I explained the prompt for week one in my first video, um, and that is, you know, how I came to be on my path. And if you haven't watched my introduction video, I'll link it below. Um, and I'll probably link it on that first YouTube Pagan Challenge video that I finally do as well. So that's the stuff that's coming up, guys. I hope that you're all having a fantastic um, September so far, and I look forward to posting more content. Blessed be.